Um, hi, everybody. Stop shaking the camera, Charlita. Hi, guys. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to another episode of Heel Talk, episode 23. Thank y'all for y'all patience because this episode was actually supposed to go out some time ago. I think I uploaded this notification on like the 2nd of October, then life be life. And then I was like, all right, I'm dropping on my birthday, but then more life be life thing. <laughs> But now it's the 15th. I celebrated my birthday yesterday, last night. It was amazing. And I feel very good and blessed and fortunate to enter into chapter 32. It's starting off amazing. So I'm just, I'm looking forward to what this year has in store for me. Um, if you guys haven't checked out any of my other Heel Talk episodes, I definitely encourage you to do so just to get a feel again, if this is your first time, just to get a feel of the channel, who I am, what I try to bring forth to the platform in any way, shape, or fashion to help us all on this journey. Um, heads up minion in the background toddler life mom life so bear with any unexpected feedback <laughs> or confirmation who knows but this topic this week is all about balance of course we are still very much so thriving in Libra season. And I felt it very appropriate to touch on, excuse me, the topic of balance, um, finding balance, maintaining balance, what I do personally to aid in my journey when it comes to balance. And I've jotten, I've jotten, Jot and written. I made a new word. Jotting. 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 Jotting is a word. Jotting. Yeah. Yeah. Jotting's a word. <laughs> I'm just. Country is all get out sometimes. And words don't be sounding like words. <laughs> but anyway, I've written some stuff down. Jotted. Jotted. Jotted some stuff down that I wanted to touch on per the topic of balance and one thing that I wanted to touch on is the realistic challenge of finding balance and maintaining it whether that be through self-love and self-care um home life versus work life environment um work versus leisure time you know um grounding and flowing with changes that is inevitable in life and realistically trying to have a social life as an adult because I don't know about y'all but you you, <laughs> you really gotta like treat socializing like business meetings I feel like open up your calendar are you good at five day are you good at Friday at five you know so just some of those things that I wanted to touch on but we'll start with I'll try to, to work through it. Um, so I think the first thing that I wanted to touch on was the realistic challenge that 
finding balance and maintaining balance can um, bring forth in life. Um, I was just talking to my cousin a little while ago and we were just like brainstorming and and, um, just talking about life, catching up and talking about like our personal business plans of, you know, how we want to continue to uh, thrive and be successful in life. Um, But sometimes being a little scattered brain and um just finding a way to hone it hone it in she'll be starting her business very soon and i'm so proud of her but some advice that i was giving to her was and what has helped me as well you know when i started more peace I felt like life prior to finding and honing my niche with more peace, I was very much so trying different things and just trying to find my groove in it all. I knew that I was hella creative and I knew that I wanted to do multiple things because I felt and still feel to this day that I just have much to give. So finding the balance within that, if you're not new to this channel, you know I keep a notebook by me all the time just because writing things down helps clear my mental um it helps me be accountable and it helps me organize and and stay um consistent and and ready and um it helps me flow and stay in the flow of you know the inevitable that change in life can bring and i find that that's a really good way for me and i lent that to her as well to maintain the balance of you know pivoting and growing and expanding as far as shoot life for me right now Um, I just started working with, um, a local program that is servicing three-year-olds in their transition to, uh, school. And so I take very much pride in working with children. Um, but alongside that in my life coaching business, of course, finding balance within a work life, a nine to five, and your own pursuits, your own um, passion projects. Really what speaks volumes to me is gaining organizational skills and doing what works for you and, and you'll know what works for you in terms of planning and pre-planning, uh, self-care, self-love, you know, raise your hand if you're constantly thinking about work, even when you're supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get better with that myself. I could be exhausted from the day and be like, okay, I'm gonna lay down and just rest but my mind could still be okay when i get up i'm gonna do this when i get up i know i gotta do that too and i'm gonna do that tomorrow and you know so on and so forth so one thing that i incorporate in my everyday is sound baths and there's loads of videos 
on yeah. YouTube of sound bowls and um, it helps uh, ground me and in, in calm my energy when I feel like, when I'm feeling like in go mode, um, even when I'm like sitting complete still and I just feel like that, that rush of energy of not really anxiousness, but just like what's next. Um, I listen to those videos, sound bath, sound bowl videos, I think every day. Um, now that the seasons are changing, because what I used to do is I used to get up and not just the season changes, but my schedule itself is changing. Um, I used to be able to get up every morning and go for a walk and then start my day. And I felt like that was just so ideal and perfect for me because being outside, being in nature can ground your senses. Um, and also help the body, you know, stay move. And that's hand in hand with, uh, self-care. Establishing a social life, I feel is important. Um, just because it can't just be, you know, all work and then just you or, you know, for a season, maybe it has to be all working just you but now that I feel like for me personally um, my social life is expanding and growing in new ways um, I feel as though it's necessary to touch base with friends family and keep that reciprocal energy flowing it helps it just helps not only self but whoever you're yeah. engaging with that's pretty much what I wanted to touch on during this heel talk. Um, of course, I'll be back with another one. If you guys have any tips or uh, advice that you want to leave down in the comments, do so. How do you maintain balance? How do you uh, find balance? How do you incorporate balance into your every day use that space it's there it helps and i guess i will see y'all in the next one because i don't want to ramble but <laughs> make sure you like this video um make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not thank you for watching and more peace to the journey <laughs>